Yes, Laoshi. Yes, Laoshi. Okay, okay. So, ah, let's start. Uh, mm, yeah, wait a second. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. Hmm? Mm, anyway. Okay, so, ah, uh, in this semester, eh, uh, I am your uh, teacher of the course Embed System and uh, Development. Uh, so let's uh, firstly uh, introduce myself. Okay. My name uh, is Feng Zhu. So from the uh, uh, Network uh, Security Department. Okay. So it is uh, before it is uh, uh, Information uh, Security Department. Uh, of the com uh, computer school, okay. So I uh, graduated uh, in Nanjing University and uh, get my bachelor degree of computer science there. Then I came to US and uh, uh, get my PhD degree there uh, in Florida International University. So then I came back to China and uh, start to work uh, in this university. Uh, till now. Mm. Okay, so let me show the PPT. Okay, uh, can you see the PET? Yes, that's good. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, so, but uh, wait a second. Uh, as I say from the, um, as I say from the uh, school system, uh, this this course uh, uh, has been selected by uh, twenty five students, but uh, now um, uh, I just say okay, including you can see that including me uh, in total there are eleven guys right. So where I so. Where are other guys? Anybody knows? It's uh, you see that uh, it seems that uh, fifteen of you uh, do not join the uh, tension meeting. Okay, and uh, let me say the WeChat group, right? In WeChat group, there are. Twenty-two, okay, twenty-two guys, okay, including me and uh, your advisor Wu. So means that uh, there are twenty of you in the uh, WeChat group. So now in the um, in the WeChat in the in this uh, tension meeting, there are just ten of you. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, the monitor is. See the monitor is the one. Yes, Yeah, you are the monitor, right? Uh, oh. Right? Yeah, you are the yes, monitor. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh where are you? Where, where are your rest uh, classmates? Okay. <laughs> Where are the, the ten guys? No, maybe, maybe let me text them in a group. Ah, uh, there is a class group. I'll text them. So you mean that? Uh, uh, so maybe they are in a different time zone. So yeah. <laughs> so now maybe they are sleeping. <laughs> so you mean that? Uh, Okay, so anyway, so let me check the attendance first. Okay. Okay, so 
Let me see. Uh, no, let me open the uh, open open the attendance sheet. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so first, uh, uh, Raymond Kui. Raymond Kui. Uh, with ID uh, F one seven O four O one two O Raymond Curry. Okay. Uh, Aradin Ghana. Aradin A Ghana. Aradin A Ghana. Uh, the ID is uh, F uh, 1803115. Aradin Ghana. Oh, now she, I guess it's better to read the last two digits. Pardon? Yes, now she. Uh, you are the, uh, you are the, Ardin, uh, you are Aradin? No, it's not me. I was oh. saying that it's better to read the last two digits. Last two digits. Uh, you mean the last two digits of the ID, right? Yes. Uh, but uh, you know that uh, uh, in the twenty-five of the, of you, that uh, some of you uh, actually, for example, the Raymond Cooley, it is starts start with the F uh, one seven. Uh, of course, most of you starts with uh, F one nine. Okay, but. Uh, uh, I, uh, some of you start from the F17 and the F18. So anyway, okay, so let me say, okay. So Raymond Cooley, uh, the last two digit is 20. Uh, 20. Okay. Arad in Ghana, uh, the last two digit is 15, uh, but it starts with uh, F18. Arad in Ghana. Uh, start with F18 and end with uh, 15. Okay. Then, okay, Noor uh, Mohammed uh, Mohammed uh, bear curve, a uh, bear de curve, bear de curve. Uh, the ID is start with F18 and uh, end with uh, 17. End with 17. Okay. Noor R. Mohammed uh, Bear Dibekov. Okay. okay. Then uh, Mohammed Seed Dama. Okay. Starts with F18 and ends with uh, 34. Starts with uh, F18 and ends with 34. Mohammed Theater Dama. Okay, then the rest of you are all starts with F19. Okay, so I just uh, I just read the last two digits. Okay, so uh, Masudu Zaman, uh, 05. Masudu Zaman, 05. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One guy, I got one reply. <laughs> then, uh, uh, Ibrahim, uh, Robert Job, okay, uh, 29. Yes, love, she present, present. Okay, that's good. Mohammed uh, Terma Care, uh, 30. Yes, I'm here, love, Okay, that's good. Okay, if uh, if I pro if I pronunciation has something wrong, so please uh, uh, tell me. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, then Mikhail M. Safa, uh, O five. Yes, Lord, oh. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, just O five. Yeah, this is the oh F one nine o three o one o five oh that's okay anyway yeah, you are right you are okay that's good then uh solomon carlton uh yeah, sir, yeah. okay yeah, right hmm. sador dada jono 
Tamar Marik, uh, Damino, uh, Ten. Tamar uh, Marik, uh, Damino, Ten. Uh, Christ David Gilgo Ob, Twelve. Yes, no, sure. Okay. Hasibu Rahman Noor, fourteen. Hasibu Rahman Noor, fourteen. Hasibu Rahman Noor, fourteen. Mehrab Hosen, fifteen. Mehrab Hosen, fifteen. Mehrab Hosen, fifteen. Gentana uh, Feders, twenty one. Uh, Gentana Feders, twenty one. Gentana Feders, twenty one. Abu Rahim K. Kromas, 22. Abu yes, Rahim. Okay. Yes, Lao hmm. B. Uh, Seo Phyllis G. Russell, 25. B. Seo Phyllis G. Russell, 25. B. Selfidus G. Russell, 25. Solomon K. Sawyer, 26. Solomon K. Sawyer, 26. Solomon K. Sawyer, 26. Baselam. Uh, Tilahan Mamo, twenty nine. Uh, twenty nine. Yes, Lakshmi. Okay. Yes, Lakshmi. I'm here. Yes. Okay. Uh, Nai, Nai is the uh, lucky uh, love it. The Ikan Asifa, thirty. Nai is the uh, the Ikan Asifa. Thirty. Next is the Lake Asifa. Thirty. Valerie Butuk. Thirty one. Valerie Butuk. Thirty one. Valerie Butuk. Thirty one. Anna Akuloa Anna Akuloa Yes, not sure. Okay. Lavan Takabo uh, Grave Mary, 33. Yes, not sure. Benura uh, Ikrim, uh, 34. Bela uh, Ikram, 34. Bela Ikram, 34. Azamat Kalimurin, 36. Hello, Moshe. I'm okay. here. Yeah, OK. I got it. Mm. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I know that. Uh, so nowadays, uh, uh, 
I don't know. Have you come to China or uh, stay uh, in your own country? So you know you stay in your own country or in China? Uh, you asking me, Loshe? No, I ask all of you. <laughs> uh, I am in my country right now. Uh, some people, some people are in China. Some people are in their country. Not everyone. Um, yeah. For me, I'm in China. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, but anyway, so still, some of you are in uh, in your own country. Yeah. So the the time zone problem uh, is a real is a real problem. So that's why you say I'm recording uh, this video. So at uh, uh, after after class, I will upload the video uh, to the WeChat group. Okay. Of course, the attendance I will also consider. Yeah, because uh, if we, if it is really because of the time zone problem, of course I will uh, think I will say that the don't uh, don't take them as non contents okay. So anyway, uh, let me come back to this course. Okay. So the name of this course. Okay is the embedded system and uh, development. So uh, you have already uh, studied in our, uh, in our computer, uh, computer science school okay, uh, for several years, right? So have you ever heard the term okay, embedded system or the embedded device okay, uh, in, in the courses uh, you have learned before? Have you ever heard of this term, embedded system? No? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pardon? You can, you, you, uh, don't, uh, don't be afraid. You can turn on your microphone uh, to answer my question. Don't be afraid. You are afraid to open the microphone okay. during the class. I'm not. I'm not here clear yet, but you know maybe there are some uh, a network problem. Okay. okay. So firstly, about this course. Yeah, okay. I can so this course, okay, uh, is a selective course. Okay. So the credit is uh, is three point five. So uh, in total, okay. Uh, there are 24 lessons in this semester, okay? including uh, 20 lectures and uh, four experiments. Okay? So I think uh, you have your own computer, right? Do you that, anyone? Uh, yes, that not? Uh, yeah, because that, the experiment uh, will be done uh, using your own computer. Yeah. <laughs> I know that maybe some of you okay, are using your cell phone uh, to join the online meeting. Okay? That's okay, but uh, when we uh, do the experiment, we have to use the computer. Okay. So uh, because of the, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, right? So <laughs> right, since 2020, okay, so this is really a problem for your uh, uh, no, for you come to China, yeah. So that, uh, we have to uh, do the online education, okay. So uh, we you uh, so we you we are use the Tencent meeting uh, as our online teaching tools, okay. Uh, so it seems that uh, uh, it's, uh, you can use it, okay. Uh, but maybe there are some network uh, problem. So maybe if uh, if you do not hear me clearly or you cannot see uh, the image clearly, uh, please let me know. Okay. Uh, but anyway, after the class, I will also upload the video. So don't too worry about the network problem. So uh, about the score, okay, of this course. Okay. So. Uh, uh, so it, the attendance, uh, homework, uh, uh, so here the lab means the experiment, okay? Because I think uh, uh, 
I guess uh, it's very possible that uh, the, the entire in the entire semester, okay, we have to do the online education. Okay, so we cannot uh, really come to the lab. Okay, so and uh, the exam will be done on your own computer. Okay, and also other other uh, on class performance. Okay, all these things account for uh, the forty percentage of the final uh, score. Okay. While the final, okay, the final, uh, you, uh, it might be a, uh, uh, depends, okay. If you, if finally you can come to this, uh, if really you can come back to China and uh, take the exam, then it may, it might be an exam. Otherwise, uh, it might be a final report. Okay, so the final accounts for the rest, uh, the sixty percentage. Anyway, I know that this uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic is really annoying. Okay? Uh, it affects uh, it, it, uh, it affect our life very much. Okay? So if you have any problem to uh, take the uh, uh, to take the lesson, so uh, let me know or let the let the advisor know. Okay? okay. So today, okay, we will start from the first chapter okay, uh, of this course. So the first chapter is the introduction to uh, the, this chapter uh, have three uh, section. Uh, the introduction to embedded system, uh, introduction to the embedded architecture, and the introduction uh, to the embedded development. So here, it seems that uh, uh, you are not familiar with the term okay, uh, embedded system. Okay. You may wonder that uh, uh, exactly what is that okay, and where it is, has been used. So you have already uh, taken the operating system course right before. I think you have already uh, taken the operating system course, right? Yes. Hmm. Yes, Dash. So, okay, uh, you, since you have already uh, uh, know something about the operating system, okay, so actually uh, here, the embedded system uh, is a special uh, kind of operating system. We know that, uh, okay, when you learn the operating system course, right, you know that, uh, okay, such as the uh, Windows, okay, the Linux, uh, the Mac OS, right, this, this uh, conventional uh, or commercial uh, operating system, they are running on the computers, right? And also there are some uh, systems like the, for example, the Windows Server, uh, uh, the Unix, okay, this operating system are running uh, on the uh, servers. Right? And also for the supercomputers, they also have their special design the operating system. So here, the so-called embedded system okay, is an operating system running on the embedded device. Yeah. But here you are you're still wondering, right? So what is the embedded device? Okay. So actually, uh, so now I'm using my uh, computer to join the meeting. But I think that uh, some of you are using your cell phone, right? To join the meeting, okay. Any, anybody of you are using your cell phone? Yes, please. Okay, also just one question, okay. So in, uh, in, you know the computer, right? Have a big screen, and uh, I think I can it can see the, yeah, and uh, I think that uh, you can see the uh, PPT clearly. But if you, you use your cell phone, can you see the uh, PPT clearly? Can you see the clearly? Yeah, okay. that's good. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, uh, I'm well, I'm just uh, uh, wondering that whether it is clear. Okay. Okay, so your cell phone, 
either kind of uh, embedded device, right? So you can see that uh, the so-called embedded uh, things are not that uh, uh, rare. Okay. Actually, embedded devices are, are everywhere in our daily life. Okay. I think nowadays, okay, everyone uh, have his own cell phone, almost everyone have his uh, own cell phone, right? Okay. I think maybe if, uh, you do not have your own computer, but uh, uh, I think uh, most of you should have your own cell phone. Okay. So this is uh, uh, an example of an embedded device. Okay. Uh, but this, uh, but the cell phone, okay, is still a little bit large, right? Uh, let me say, okay. So now, okay, we are using the internet, right? Uh, so how can I, uh, how can my uh, computer connect to the internet, okay? And uh, use the, uh, this service uh, to launch this online meeting, okay? So here, my, my uh, computer, have a wired uh, connection okay, uh, to the internet. So you have taken the uh, internet, uh, uh, internet course, right? Uh, um, uh, no, I think it should be name should be the network, right? The network course you have taken it before, right? No? Network security, yeah. Network security, you have taken it before? Yeah. Okay. So when you take mm -hmm. this, uh, when you take the network security course, okay. So I think uh, the teacher uh, have uh, taught you about uh, uh, maybe the I think you know something about uh, how can a device uh, being connected to the internet, right? They rely on the protocols. They they rely on several devices, okay, like the gateway hub. Router and so on, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, so then actually, uh, here, uh, of course, my computer is not an uh, embedded device, but here, uh, the things uh, I just mentioned the router, the hub, uh, and the gateway, uh, the, these things are all belongs to the uh, embedded device. So you think that, right, uh, this is uh, ah, the embedded device is close to our life, right? And also, okay, I think some of you, uh, some of you uh, may have some uh, uh, smart uh, electronics, okay? Uh, for example, uh, the smart air condition, okay, or the uh, smart washing machine, okay? This smart uh, electronics, also belongs to the embedded device, but uh, be, but be sure that uh, uh, there must be some uh, operating system running on it. Then it is an embedded device. But it, suppose it is just a mechanical uh, washing machine. Okay, then this is not an <laughs> embedded device. Uh, okay, so this is some example of an embedded system and device. So let us say okay. In this figure, okay. In this figure, okay, we can see that uh, 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 there are a lot of uh, categories of embedded devices. Okay, so this figure shows the uh, embedded product markets. Uh, so we can see that uh, the mobile phone, okay, takes nearly half of the entire market. Uh, so actually, in the past uh, in the past decades, okay, uh, the size of the global embedded product market uh, grows very fast. But uh, the main contribution uh, is from the <laughs> mobile phones. Okay. But actually, the mobile phones, okay, its share uh, grows very fast. Okay. So here, the mobile phones, okay, now you see. Okay. And other all other kinds of embedded device, okay, like a gateway, uh, the network uh, network access, okay. Also the digital things, camera, okay, post. You know post, right? Okay. If you if you use the uh, credit card, right? Uh, so you may use the post machine, okay. Uh, 
also printer, DVD, and thing, auto automotive. Okay. All these things are the embedded uh, devices. Okay. So you can see that uh, embedded thing, embedded device, and embedded system is not that mysterious. Okay. Actually, they are all around our life. So uh, at uh, 2011, okay, the size of the global embedded market okay, is about uh, 140 billion US dollar. Then uh, at uh, 2020, okay, the size of the global embedded market uh, uh, is already more than 200 okay, billion USD. You can see that uh, the average growth rate okay, of the global embedded market size uh, is 6.3 uh, percentage uh, per year. So this is, uh, you may think that okay, uh, this growth rate is not that uh, high, right? But uh, considering okay, uh, the economic growth rate okay, of your country, okay, uh, in the, <laughs> actually, not that many countries okay, have an economic growth rate um, higher than 6.3% uh, per year, right? So it means that uh, the, this market size growth rate is even higher than the average uh, economic growth rate. So that means that uh, the requirement of the embedded device uh, you know, become higher and higher, okay, larger and larger. But actually, I have to uh, mention that most uh, uh, of the growth in the, in the <laughs> global embedded market uh, comes from the mobile phones. While the second is, uh, well, the second biggest requirement uh, is the network related device. Because that, okay, you, you, if you want to you, if we want to use a mobile phone right you need okay the related communication device right okay otherwise, otherwise you just uh, buy a brick okay <laughs> you cannot use it uh, only when only when uh, the uh, communication inf infrastructure has been built okay, then you can use the mobile phones and other things Then another thing is okay, very closely related to the embedded uh, system uh, is a term called the uh, Internet of Things, the so-called sorry, the so-called IoT. I think you may have heard of the term before, right? The Internet of Things. So these things okay, uh, is proposed, uh, uh, this term is proposed by the Telecommunication Union. Uh, so it has a point of that, okay, the electronics, okay, such as the uh, refrigerator, washing machine, TV, microwave, uh, street lamp, uh, electronic uh, signboard, okay, all these things will be connected to the internet, which finally forms a global unified Internet of Things. Okay. So the term here, uh, Internet of Things, means that it will connect uh, everything uh, to the internet. Okay. Of course, uh, the IoT does not only co uh, contains the embedded devices, okay. also uh, it uh, contains things like the computer, which not belongs to the embedded device, but most of the devices are uh, in the IoT. Okay, uh, belongs to the uh, embedded devices, uh, especially okay, you know, things, uh, things, uh, things, uh, things uh, in the Internet of Things. Okay, means that uh, the things will be coming to the internet. So, yeah, the network uh, communication related uh, devices. Uh, this is very important, okay, which forms the infrastructure of the Internet of Things. Okay. Then also, it's a smart uh, uh, electronic okay, uh, 
but also okay despite all of these big things okay you may also uh, uh see some small things okay for instance okay uh if you already uh in china okay so in our university okay you may have your uh student i uh, uh campus id card right so you you should have your campus id card right yes yes yeah so this campus id card can uh okay you can use it to uh i think in the restaurant right and uh maybe you can use it to open something like the lab and uh, the door of the lab and something else okay so for example when you uh use the card in the uh, restaurant okay uh it will be read uh, uh by a reader right okay when you, when you buy food right uh, you it will be read by the reader okay so actually uh, the reader and your uh, campus ID card uh, all <laughs> belongs to the embedded device. Okay. Actually, this one is uh, use uh, a very important technology in the embedded system. It's called the RFID, okay, uh, radio frequency identif identification. Okay. So either the reader okay, can use uh, the, the use the radio to read the data uh, in your card. Okay, so means that um, check how many uh, how many money uh, are still in your card and the world and the who are you and uh, it will also decrease uh, money after you buy something. Okay. Of course, okay, this is just an example of the Internet of Things. Okay, <laughs> because uh, the reader is connected to the campus network. Uh, your card once is read uh, once is reading by the Reader, okay, is indirectly connected to the internet. So, ah, uh, right, it means that uh, we have many, many uh, internet, uh, uh, not sorry, many, many embedded uh, usage scenarios in our daily life. Okay, so, uh, generally speaking, okay. The embedded system, obviously, the embedded devices can be uh, classified uh, into uh, six categories, including uh, consumer electronics, uh, medical electronics, military and aerospace electronics, industri industrial control electronics. We call uh, electronic bus and network communication electronic bus. So let's say it. Firstly, the consumer electronic bus. Okay. So I think uh, this is the way, uh, this line is uh, uh, this type of um, embedded devices uh, is uh, most uh, close to our daily life. Okay. For instance, uh, the mobile phones. Okay. So we know that uh, okay, nowadays the mobile phone, most of the mobile phones already become the smartphones. Uh, of course, there are still some uh, conventional uh, cell phones. Okay. Uh, uh, for our cell phones, uh, for our smartphones, okay. So do you know uh, the uh the highest share uh of the operating system for the uh, for, uh, for the smartphone do you know what is the system uh with the high with the highest share no okay so okay now do you know uh what is the operating system running on your own phone? Kernel. Kernel? Ah. Okay, then anyone, anybody else? The operating system running on your phone. Android. Yeah. Android. Android. Yeah. Android. Android. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah. So actually, uh, in the market of the uh, OS of the smartphone, okay, uh, the Android based uh, OS uh, takes about a uh, uh, more than okay, more than seven uh, more than seventy five percentage of the market share. Then the iOS takes about a twenty percentage, while the rest of, uh, five percentage is some other uh, types of the smartphone operating system. Okay. So actually, uh, the smartphone uh, system is also a kind of uh, embedded system. Okay. Although, okay, <laughs> you know that uh, uh, this. Uh, <laughs> This system is really complex, right? Okay. Because nowadays, okay, the smartphone, okay, uh, is very uh, uh, has a very high performance. Okay, usually you may have uh, several. Uh, uh, you may have maybe sixteen or even more memory, and maybe you have several hundreds of gigabytes of the hard disk. Hard disk, right? Okay. So actually, the uh, this uh, your the performance of the smartphone nowadays is even better, okay, than the computers uh, several years ago. Okay, so you can think that your smartphone is a small computer. Okay, so okay, but uh, I'm but here come back to the open system. Okay, so Android, you know that this is a uh, open source. Okay, uh open source system, okay. but uh, uh, there's no general okay, Android OS that can run on the different types of the uh, cell phone, right? Uh, if, for, uh, for example, okay, uh, uh, my, cell, uh, my cell phone okay, here is a Xiaomi, okay. uh, so the operating system run on my cell phone okay, cannot be directly migrate uh, on another cell phone, okay, which is not a Xiaomi okay, cell phone. Okay. Not to say the iOS, okay, iOS is a closed source system, okay, so it can only run the uh, iPhone. So you can see that, okay, in our computer, uh, the Windows, okay, uh, the Linux. Okay, these things okay, can run on most of our uh, personal computers, right? Okay, then the Mac OS okay, can run on most uh, types of the uh, other computers, right? So there's something different, right? So the OS of our cell phone okay, is limited to certain types of your uh, uh, no, no, not of your, okay, of the cell phones, right? So this is the difference. So it means that the embedded system uh, is usually uh, limited to certain types of embedded devices, not like the operating system on our computer, which is uh, a, which is a general operating system which can be applied to uh, different types of computers. So this is a big difference. Okay, despite of the uh, cell phone, okay, we also have many other consumer electronics. Okay, for instance, here the cleaner, right? Uh, uh, the smart cleaner. Okay. so it relies on the uh, image recognition uh, technology. Okay, and uh, uh, it depends on the algorithm in it uh, to uh, clean uh, the board of your uh, in your home. Okay, and here the um, robot puppet. Okay, yeah. Uh, here the uh, you see the MP4. Okay, the washing machine. Okay, uh, all these things. Okay. So the consumer electronics okay, is also. Uh, have many types and it's closed uh, to our life. So here, uh, we need to say, what well, I need to mention one thing that, okay. Uh, so uh, here we have said, uh, mentioned many times that the embedded system, okay, uh, 
So the embedded system, uh, it is not, uh, generally speaking, uh, it is run uh, on a certain uh, small device, right? Okay. So at, uh, it usually uh, have some limited resources. But frankly speaking, the OS on the cell phone, okay, uh, that's 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 uh, that's uh, in some to some extent, okay, a cell phone can supply sufficient resource for the OS. But okay, but uh, but for the system, okay, for example, I run on the cleaner, right in the MP4, okay, they will have very limited resources, means that very limited memory, very limited very limited hardware, and so on. So which means that uh, the goal of the operating system uh, will be uh, being, will be restricted uh, to a certain functionality. Okay, so uh, let's uh, firstly stop here and have a rest for five minutes. Let's have a rest for five minutes. Uh. Let me share my screen. Okay. okay, so we just discussed the consumer electronics, right? Let's come and see other types. Okay. The, the medical electronic cost, okay. Right, so uh, in, the, uh, in this uh, several years, okay, in this uh, actually uh, two or three years, okay, because of the COVID-19 pandemics, okay, so the medical equipment okay, uh, is, some, is somehow, uh, uh, is somehow hot. <laughs> uh, you know, very hot, right? But uh, the you know, nowadays, okay, with the development of the medical technologies, okay, so many equipments uh, in the hospitals uh, uh, become smart, okay? Actually, so once the things become smart, okay, so it means that uh, it has some, uh, some program, okay, uh, I'll actually, uh, some some OS in it uh, to operate on it, or a law, uh, maybe the doctors or nurse uh, to uh, to watch on it or directly operates on it. Okay. So nowadays, a lot of the medical equipments are smart, so they are also have the embedded system run on it. Okay, so here. Uh, a lot of things, okay, including the therapy instrument, uh, the X-ray machine, okay, the operating table, okay, uh, the monitor, okay, uh, the CT machine, blood analyzer, okay, uh, skin tester, bio uh, biochemical, biochemical analyzer, and so on. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, so we you should. Uh, uh, Note the one thing that, okay, if a uh, device uh, is called the embedded device, right? Okay, uh, not uh, just a mechanical device. So it must uh, have uh, some program, obviously the operating system will run on it. Okay? So for instance, okay, uh, uh, if, uh, if uh, uh, for, the blood, for, for example, the blood analyzer, right? It can uh, tell you uh, the pressure okay, of your blood, of your blood pressure. Okay? But uh, you know that uh, before, okay, uh, the doctor can just use some uh, purely mechanical uh, blood pressure test, right, uh, to uh, to check your blood pressure. That device is not uh, 
embedded device. Okay. So anyway, and other things that uh, all these things must uh, uh, use uh, some uh, electronic resources uh, or either uh, it use some AC or use some DC like the battery. Okay. Anyway, so in the medical area, yeah, there are also a lot of uh, yeah, embedded devices. Another uh, main, scenario, main usage scenario of the embedded device uh, in the military and the aerospace. Okay. Okay, so here, okay, uh, the uh, remote control for something, uh, for some uh, equipment, right? Okay. Also, okay, so you know that uh, uh, in, in the, in this year, okay, the Russia and uh, the Ukrainian, okay, uh, they have some conflict, okay. Uh, but uh, in the in the Russia Ukrainian conflict, okay, uh, both sides uh, use a lot of uh, military drone, okay, for scouting or for guiding uh, the artillery or bombard or guiding. Uh, uh, the planes to bombard something, right? Okay. Okay. For example, the especially uh, the TB2. Okay. Uh, TB2 drone are uh, used by the uh, Ukrainian. Okay. Uh, this is a very famous. Uh, is a very famous uh, uh, drone. Okay. So the, this drone is also a kind of usage of the uh, embedded device. Okay. It is controlled. It is controlled by some controller in the uh, yeah, in the uh, remotely, okay, usually remotely. Okay. Also, uh, the airplane or the tanks, okay. So either in the plane or the tanks, okay, they are they they are all the combination, okay, of a lot of devices, okay. But these devices, some of the devices are not uh, are embedded devices, okay? But uh, some of it, okay, for instance, okay, like, okay, the radar, okay, and the, the missile, okay, you know that uh, nowadays, okay, uh, once another, once an enemy plane, okay, uh, well, an enemy fighter, okay, uh, has, been uh, has been detected, okay, you will use your missile, uh, to attack it, right? Okay. So, uh, how do you, how can you know that uh, uh, this is a uh, enemy uh, fighter? Okay. So you will read some information, okay, from your radar, right? Okay. Or even some a more advanced information system. Okay? Then you will launch your missile, right? Okay. Then the missile, okay, will try to trace the enemy target. Okay. Okay, so sometimes okay, it will follow the guidance, the guidance of the radar. Okay, sometimes the missile itself uh, have a, a small radar or something else, some some other uh, tracing devices. Okay, so the missile itself also <laughs> contains an uh, embedded system yeah, that will uh, run okay, uh, until it hit uh, the enemy target or be destroyed. Also the tanks, okay. Uh, the tanks also have many devices on it. Also have radar, okay, and also have the uh, fire control system, okay. Okay, you know that uh, already the system, right? So this is not we cannot give the tank a conventional operating system on it, right? Okay, because that uh, uh, it is very hard in the uh, in the war, right? The environment is very harsh, okay. So. It cannot the commercial operating system cannot be afforded to the uh, to such harsh environment. It will be damaged. Okay? So the system for tanks and for the military uh, devices for other military equipment are specially designed, uh, especially uh, they can endure the harsh environment. Uh, but uh, they have uh, they are very robust. In another usage, okay, 
for the embedded device is the aerospace game. For instance, here is a set of pictures about the okay, uh, uh, I can see the moon detector. Okay. You know, right? The, the moon, yeah, is about, uh, let me see, is more than, oh, well, yeah, actually, about uh, uh, 300 and uh, 370,000 uh, uh, kilometers from our Earth, right? So all the so all these detectors uh, have to uh, if you want to do some investigation on the moon, okay, we have to send these detectors uh, using the rockets. Okay. So of course you can send the human to it, but you know, okay, the environment on the moon is very uh, is very tough. Okay. Because that the moon do not have any atmos atmosphere, so that uh, in the daylight, okay, in the daytime, okay, the sunshine will make the um, temperature on the moon very high. But once, uh, when the uh, it come to the day, uh, night, when uh, on at night, okay, without the sunshine, the temperature uh, on the moon will drop you know, very low. Okay, so the difference of the temperature. The, High difference of the tem uh, temperature made the moon, uh, the environment of the moon, uh, not suitable for human to live in there. So yeah. usually, okay, for long term investigation on the moon, we will use these detectors. But you can may see that uh, such detectors okay, are usually uh, very small, right? Okay. It is because that uh, uh, the Rocket uh, has a limited capacity uh, to bring. Okay, they can just bring small things. Okay, uh, so that uh, these uh, devices are very small, and uh, you know that. Uh, okay, uh, without the atmosphere. Okay, so these devices usually suffer from much stronger uh, radiation uh, from the sun. Okay, than uh, than in Earth. But uh, okay, these devices also have. Uh, need the uh, corresponding protection against the radiation. So in this, uh, uh, so in this way, okay, uh, the embedded system run on these moon detectors uh, have to be very uh, robust. Okay, it needs to uh, be prepared for something uh, uh, for, for some instability. Okay, uh, in case of the instability. Of these detectors, uh, for instance, okay, it may make something wrong, okay, yeah, in case of something, even something, some part of this detector has got uh, already been damaged, the system should still continue to run. Okay. So anyway, so in the places uh, that are not suitable for human, okay, we will use such uh, ro uh, such uh, robot-like things for investigation. And all these devices are running the embedded systems. The, the industrial control. Okay. So there are yes, okay. so there are a lot of uh, industrial control usage. Okay. For instance, okay, uh, the ATM, uh, POS, PLC. As a PC and so on. Okay. So you know, uh, so uh, I don't know why. So if you know something about the modern factory, right? So you should know that uh, there are a lot of machines in the factory, and they actually the control uh, by a system. Uh, so one controller, okay, or, or say one operators, uh, can control, uh. A lot of machines and to work together. Yeah. So this uh, control system is called the industrial control system, okay, which is very important. And also, uh, industrial control system is a kind of embedded system, uh, which is very important. And its security is also important. Uh, for instance, uh, anybody comes from Iran. 
Can you, anybody come from Iran? Okay. So, okay. So, ah, uh, uh, can you hear me? No? Yes, can you hear me? So, uh, you may have heard uh, uh, yes, one thing, you, uh, you have heard one malware called uh, the uh, Stuxnet, uh, S-T, uh, S-T-U-X, N-E-T, Stuxnet. Okay. So, this malware, okay, it actually attacked uh, the Iran's uh, nuclear plant okay, at, uh, uh, at no, not at, the in uh, 2010. Okay. So now you, so you know that uh, the nuclear plant, right, uh, has many machines uh, to produce uh, the uh, nuclear uh, materials, which uh, can be built uh, for the, the uh, nuclear bomb, right? Okay. So which is very important for Iran's uh, nuclear project. But uh, in uh, 2010, okay, so the industrial control system uh, of Iran's uh, nuclear plant uh, has been attacked uh, by the malware, okay, Starnex. Okay. Star, uh, Star, Stuxnet. Okay. So the machine uh, in the plant okay, uh, is uh, from the Germans uh, Siemens company. Okay. So uh, the Siemens company's uh, 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 the system has a uh, uh, vulnerability that uh, it has a hard coded administration password in it. Okay. So uh, the Stuxnet malware actually uh, leverage. Uh, uh, this vulnerability and uh, take control of the industrial control system and uh, further uh, control the machines in the nuclear plant. Of course, okay, uh, the industrial control system in a factory is usually cut off its connection from the internet. But here, uh, the spy somehow managed to bring uh, the Stuxnet uh, malware uh, on a USB flash, and somehow it managed to use the USB flash to uh, inf infect uh, the industrial control system. Okay. So after the infection, okay, uh, it sends the wrong instructions to the machines which are producing the nuclear materials. And finally, uh, many uh, hundreds of the machines are damaged, okay, which greatly uh, delay uh, uh, the nuclear project of Iran. So this is a very famous and uh, is a very famous attack against the embedded system. Uh, so it means that uh, although okay, <laughs> this one this embedded system is uh, not uh, is very small, okay, but it's also very important even to a country. Also, okay, the industrial control uh, system can work on the robots. Okay? So here is the uh, industrial robots. Okay, of course, the robot can be used uh, for military. Okay, for instance, for scouting, for mine detection, and so on. Okay? Another usage of the robots okay, is for the inspection. Okay? So you know that. Uh, uh, so here is some figures about uh, the. Uh, uh, electricity wire, okay. So you know that, uh, you may know that okay, in China, okay, uh, the Xinjiang province, okay, uh, it, it is a very large province and have many uh, uh, electricity factory. So that, uh, several years ago, yeah, uh, China launched a project called Xidian Dongshu, so means that uh, to send uh, electricity uh, from the west provinces uh, to the eastern provinces, okay, including, so means that it will send the electricity from the Xinjiang, uh, Sichuan, and other eastern provinces to the eastern provinces like the Shanghai, Jiangsu, and so on. Okay. However, okay, you know that uh, the distance from the western province in China 
the eastern province of China is very long, right? Especially uh, in Xinjiang, okay, this is the so it is so large, but uh, in many places there are actually no one living there. Okay? They are just a desert and uh, uh, so. But uh, you know that the electricity must be uh, transferred using the electricity wire, right? Okay. So how can we uh, do the maintenance? Okay. We need to ensure that the, uh, elect the electricity wire and the related equipment are working well, are working well right? Okay. So here we really rely on these uh, inspection robots uh, to check them. Uh, but you know that uh, we cannot uh, let human do that, right? So human, it means that it, in one day, it have to maybe go several hundred kilometers to check the wire and the devices. So this is almost not possible. Okay? We do not have so many maintenance guys to do these things. But with robots, okay, uh, we can do it. So this is, a, this is the usage of the embedded devices on the industry. Right? Then a wake up. Uh, I guess maybe some of you, some of you already have your own car, right? Yeah. Uh, the car itself, uh, you, we cannot say a car is an uh, embedded device. Okay? This is not correct. But uh, some of the devices are uh, in the car uh, is an embedded device. For instance, the engine. Okay? Of course, okay. Uh, it depends, okay. In the early days, okay, the engine is just uh, a mechanical thing, so, so we say that one is not an uh, embedded device. But nowadays, the engine can be controlled by our car system, okay. Uh, so in this case, okay, because that uh, the engine have many uh, devices that can send the information and the current information of the engine uh, to the uh, car computer, and we can see how uh, the current working status of the engine, and then we can manipulate. Okay. Also, there are some uh, there are some cars, for example, which can be uh, you know that there are some cars can be uh, drive without uh, uh, without a human, right? Uh, so this can be drive automatically. So that of course. <laughs> uh, uh, depends on the uh, system, okay. Uh, then the GPS, okay, you know that the, and the GPS and with the positioning system, okay. So this is also very important, right? We want to go somewhere, okay. We need to know uh, the current position of uh, you know, the, my current position. Then I will, uh, I will check my target, right? The position of my target. Then the positioning system may make you may give me uh, the right path to it. Okay. Sometimes it will even give you give me uh, uh, the current status on the on the path. Okay. Maybe it's a how many is any is any jam uh, on the path or so on. Okay. So we so the nowadays okay, the most used the uh, planning system. Okay. Yeah, uh, including GPS, a beta, and so on. Okay. While the guiding system, okay, uh, is including the Baidu map, the Golden map, and so on. Of course, there are some other embedded system, uh, in the uh, car, like the entertainment things, uh, and the civil things, and so on. Uh. Uh, the the final uh, category is the uh, network communication electronics. Okay. So these devices, okay, uh, these figures you may have already uh, seen them in your uh, network uh, course, right? Okay. So from here, okay, uh, the routers, okay, right? Uh, here uh, is the exchangers, okay. So, uh, well, for instance, here okay, this is the router, right? Okay. So uh, you can uh, when you use the router, right? You can uh, 
when you you can use a computer to connect to the router and uh, do uh, some manipulation, right? For instance, uh, for the router, say I can let it uh, to uh, provide uh, wireless uh, network or not, right? If I want it to provide uh, the network, uh, the wireless network, okay, I can set a password on it, right? And also I can make some regulation. Right? For instance, only certain devices uh, uh, with certain max, okay? you know, you know max, right? It's the, the somehow like the ID of the of a device. Okay? Only the devices with certain max can connect to my uh, wireless network. Okay. Also, okay, I can set uh, the speed, okay, um, up, uh, either the upstream uh, network, uh, upstream, uh, upstream speed or the downstream speed, okay. So how can we do this manipulation? Okay, it actually has a system uh, running on the uh, routers. Okay. Actually, it has some chip uh, on the in the router, okay? so that uh, it has uh, it runs some uh, very small program on it. Yeah. Also, the similar thing happened on the hub, on the exchange, and so on. Okay? Of course, uh, now okay, we are doing <laughs> we are using the online meeting, right? Okay. Especially. Uh, since the uh, 2020, okay, after the uh, during the COVID 19 pandemic, okay, many uh, companies okay, have to do the online business. Okay, uh, also the schools have to do the online education. Okay, so uh, in these two years, in these two or three years, uh, these uh, applications, online applications, are very popular. Okay either online online education or online business okay? because this uh, this COVID-19 is a really um yeah really a really terrible year okay? so anyway uh, but uh, uh how can we uh, use such online services okay it is because that okay, this uh, network uh, communication electronics uh, who build the uh, network inf network inf infrastructure for us? Okay? Otherwise, we cannot enjoy this uh, online services. Right? Why all these things? Okay, you see, some of them are just a board, right? Uh, but here, this board okay can just uh, can also have some small program run on run on it. Okay, this board already have some RAM. Okay, in the room. Okay, you know RAM and the room, right? Okay, so that uh, the room usually contains the program that uh, operates on this board. Okay, if you open this router or open the uh, the exchange here, okay, you also see those you know, things. So then, so here the room is like the hard disk in our computer. Okay, while well, the RAM is uh, similar to the memory in our computer. Okay, so now yeah, we have uh, discussed uh, the six uh, types of the embedded devices. Okay, so we can say that uh, the embedded uh, devices and embedded systems are, are not mysterious. Actually, uh, they are very close to our daily life. Uh, they are everywhere. Okay, so now you have some, uh, you, have, you should have an uh, initial okay, impression on them, right? Okay, sorry. Okay, so now let's, uh, let me give you a definition uh, of an embedded system. So as I just mentioned, uh, embedded system uh, is different uh, from a commercial operating system uh, running on the computers. Okay? But uh, still, it is a computer system. Okay, so you can see the definition. 
embedded system is a specialized computer system. So still, okay, we can consider the embedded devices uh, as a tiny uh, computer or tiny computers. So firstly, embedded system is application center. What does it mean? Okay. So what is what the application center mean? Okay. So we can say that, okay, for instance, uh, in the router, okay, what is the functionality of the router? Okay. Then what is the function functionality of the hub? Okay. Then what is the functionality of the exchanger? Okay. So all these devices, uh, all these embedded devices, they usually have uh, limited, uh, maybe even just one uh, functionality. But here, when I'm come back to a personal computer, uh, can you see that your, your computer uh, just have one functionality? I think no, right? You can use a computer, okay, maybe here, uh, for study, yeah. uh, you can use it uh, for research. Uh, you can use it to uh, do experiment. You can use it to play games, okay. uh, to watch TV, uh, to watch videos, and uh, maybe to chat, and uh, for many other things. But uh, for the embedded device, it is different. Okay. So the embedded device usually just created with uh, very few functionalities. As a result, the system uh, and running on it, okay, which manipulates the embedded device, is application centered. Secondly, okay, it is computer technology based with reducible software and hardware. Yeah, still, okay. Yeah, it is a kind of, uh, it belongs to the computer technology, right? Because uh, uh, what is, uh, because we are in the computer school, right? Uh, this, uh, you are still, uh, uh, you are the computer science department student, right? Okay. So this is still belong to the computer technology. Yeah. But okay, when compared uh, to the, uh, commercial uh, operating system, it has a uh, reducible software and hardware. Okay? Because that, uh, uh, for instance, okay, uh, your uh, common com common compare for instance, okay, uh, still your the router as an example, right? The router actually, uh, when you open it, okay, actually it's just a board, okay with some chips on it. But uh, we say in your computer, right? Your computer has a, a big hardware, okay? has big memory, okay? and uh, has a powerful CPU. Okay? But uh, for the router, its, pro it's processor, okay? uh, it has a very limited processing ability. Okay? While well, its memory, its hard disk, okay? uh, actually not hard disk, it just has a ROM. Okay? It's very small. Okay? So means that it has uh, a reducible hardware. Okay. Also, okay, for the as a router, okay, it, it do not have a screen, right? Uh, also, you do not have any audio uh, audio equipment, right? But uh, your computer, yeah, have these things. So when compared with the computer, your the embedded devices only have a small portion. Uh, of the components. Okay. Usually it has just a, of course, it should have, it, it must have a processor. Okay. Then it has a RAM, okay, like a memory. It has a ROM, like hardware. And usually that is the case. You do not have, usually it do not have input uh, devices, okay, like the mouse, like the keyboard, and so on. You do not, also do not have the 
sometimes it uh, do not have the output uh, devices uh, like the screen or some no, no other things. Okay. Also, okay, because that uh, it has uh, such reducible hardware, then the software which can run on it uh, is very limited, right? Okay. So why, okay, why embedded device have such uh, features, okay? So it is the third one, okay? So it has strict requirement on function, reliability, cost, volume, and uh, power consumption. Yeah, because that uh, they have because that the embedded device and uh, the computer, okay, personal computer, have different uh, requirements. Firstly, the cost. Okay, really, the price of an embedded device is cheaper, much cheaper. Okay. Of course, uh, it's the functionality. Uh, you know, it has a very limited functionalities, but uh, usually. Ah, uh, you need a very uh, high reliability. Uh, for instance, okay, the moon detectors, it must have a very, very high reliability. Otherwise, it cannot endure the uh, harsh uh, environment on the moon. Uh, While well, the volume, okay, sometimes the email device is very tiny, so the volume is small. Also, the power consumption. Okay, you know that uh, uh, our computer is usually powered by AC, right? But uh, for many uh, embedded devices, it can just uh, uh, powered by the battery, or uh, it powered it just powered by some videos video signals. Okay, for instance, the RFID card, or powered by sunshine or something else. You generally speaking, the power consumption of the uh, embedded device uh, usually are uh, very small. Okay, but you may wonder how about the cell phone? Okay. Yeah, the cell phone, especially the smartphone, is a special case of the uh, embedded device. Okay. Nowadays, uh, with the rapid development of the uh, technology, especially the hardware technology, okay. so now the cell phone okay, become more and more similar uh, to a tiny uh, computer, yeah. So you, so that, so that, uh, nowadays we cannot say that, okay, uh, my cell phone can just be used to do some communication, right? Actually, I can play games on it, right? I can uh, do online, uh, do on the online study on it, okay? I can uh, watch videos, uh, listen, uh, listen music on it, okay? So actually, the cell phone has many, <laughs> uh, there's many functionalities. Okay. So somehow, yeah, the smartphones, especially smartphones, is a special case of an embedded device. So it's not very suitable for such uh, characteristics. But uh, for the most uh, embedded device, it's, uh, devices, uh, this definition uh, is still applicable. OK. Then uh, let me summarize the characteristics of the embedded system. Firstly, uh, the micro kernel. So since you have learned the operating system uh, course, okay, so you know what is the kernel of, uh, of an operating system, right? Anybody can answer me what is the kernel of an operating system. Formatted. Oh. Pardon? Can you, can, you, can you speak again? What is the kernel? Sorry, I cannot hear clearly. I guess maybe some internet problem. Hmm. Okay. Mm, for instance, okay, uh, you know that uh, the operating system, okay, when you learn the operating system class, okay, you should know that, uh, for instance, the Windows, okay, the Windows system is composed of a kernel and uh, with many uh, 
modules, obviously the drivers. Okay. So the so-called uh, operating system kernel okay, is, uh, pro is providing the system with the very basic uh, functionalities. Okay. Then if we want to have more functionalities, we will use the modules, modules and the drivers to enhance it. It's uh, for the Windows because it's a closed sourced uh, system, so it's not very obvious. But okay, if you have if you have ever used the uh, Linux system, especially if you install it, install a Linux system from the source code, okay, you may see you may see uh, you may know uh, the size of the Linux kernel. Okay, yeah. of course nowadays the commercial uh, Linux systems kernel is also big, okay? not at the micro, uh, but, uh, but uh, for some types of the uh, Linux system, its kernel is very small. Okay? If you want to uh, have more functionalities, you need to use the loadable kernel module of Linux. Like the, the, the loadable kernel module in Linux is similar to the drivers in Windows. Okay? But here for embedded system, okay, so because it is an operating system, so uh, but uh, it is without uh, it do not have that uh, do not have enough uh, resources like the memory and uh, and the hard disk, you know? so that uh, it has to be very small. As a result, uh, we need to have a micro kernel. Okay. Then the speciality. Okay. Specialty means that okay, this embedded system is designed for this certain type of embedded device. Uh, it means that it cannot be used for another type of embedded device. Uh, then reducible. Okay. So it means that uh, uh, this uh, compared to the uh, the uh, commercial operating system, okay, it has uh, it, uh, its component uh, is very limited, so it is uh, actually reduced. It is a reduced operating system. Uh, well, the specialized operating system so it means that uh, it uh, provides only uh, limited functions. But finally, okay, the specialized development tools and the environments, okay. So here, uh, you know that uh, I have just mentioned that okay, the embedded device has very limited resources. So in this case, uh, in this case, okay, we cannot directly uh, development uh, develop applications on the embedded device itself. Actually, uh, if you use uh, a personal computer, right? Uh, I think you have already learned uh, some programming language like C, C++, Java, Python, and so on, right? So in this case, okay, if you want to develop an application uh, for computer, okay, you can just uh, uh, develop uh, uh, write a program, okay, maybe for example, write a Java program, okay? Maybe you can use, maybe you are using some ideas like NetBeans and so on, okay? And uh, after that, you compile it and uh, do the debugging. Okay. After that, once it's finished, once it's done, okay, without any error, okay, you can just uh, run the executables. Okay. But uh, that's not the case for the embedded system. Okay. Because the embedded device itself cannot be do not have that much resources to for the development. Okay. In the later chapters, we will discuss the. Uh, embedded development. Well, so actually, we will do the development on computer, okay? but uh, right on the embedded device. Of course, this will bring a problem of the debugging, right? Okay. You know that uh, when, you, when you write a, a program for computer, okay, you can directly debug it uh, on your own computer. But uh, here, you write a program for an embedded device. Okay. So this is not uh, to be run Okay, it cannot be run on your computer. Okay. Of course, some IDE, uh, some uh, embedded uh, development tool case uh, provide a simulator, okay, which can somehow uh, uh, 
provide a common debugging uh, functionalities on computer for the embedded, uh, embedded uh, programs. But the uh, simulator is still a simulator. Okay? Even your program can uh, run well okay, on, the, on the simulator, it, uh, it still uh, may have some problem to run a real embedded device. Okay? So uh, for the development, uh, it is also different okay, between the embedded system and the conventional system. So in general speaking, uh, because of the uh, uh, because of the special features of the embedded device, okay, so the embedded system is much different uh, than the conventional operating system. <clears throat> okay. Let me see. Okay, so now I think that uh, already, uh, it's already 3.20, okay. Okay, so today, okay, we just uh, stop, today we just stop here. Uh. Okay, so uh, Today we stop here. Okay. See you on Friday. Okay, I will I, I will upload the uh, video of this lesson to our WeChat group. Okay. Uh, bye bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. 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 bye.